yellow and what is cracking mother truckers today i want to talk to you about something and we're gonna go get something as well it's a pretty exciting one but first i want to talk about the drama that ensued while making this happen guys i have officially bought a brand new truck okay it was two years ago when i bought the dirty max ghost that guy has been a dream it tows everything i have my boat my two trailers anything i want to put on it it's great right as far as a daily driver goes it's not the greatest the thing is a monster and it will barely even actually it doesn't even fit in a parking space so it's not a very fun thing to drive as far as a daily driver goes now i was looking around because you know i've got my suburban and everything like that that had some issues i fixed the transmission and stuff but i was like uh you know this is going back and forth on it i'm like this is it's it's still a big daily driver and i do a lot of hunting and fishing more so haunting and i need a more compact vehicle i was thinking you know and then this one truck hit my eye <clears throat> and i decided i was gonna go after that son of a bitch. mother <laughs> of god it's not my fault shut up shut up mm. i don't think that oh wait yeah, yeah that's the one <sighs> one truck caught my eye and that just happened to be the brand new Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Bison. So I've seen this truck, right? One of the sexiest trucks I've ever seen in my life. There's a certain package that I needed because to me, it would be the ultimate hunting truck, basically already built. And even if I did want to build it further, it would be probably the greatest daily driver and the greatest hunting truck I could possibly have. And that is that truck right there, the Colorado ZR2 Bison. Now, the truck that I wanted, the exact one, is very, very rare. There's not too many of them in the States. Here's a couple options that I wanted. One, I wanted it to be Summit White. I wanted it to be the white one because there was black accents on it. I thought it looked good. There was a black hood scoop and the black wheels and everything like that. I wanted the black and white offset just like my dually down there ghost, correct? And then it had to have the baby Duramax in it, the 2.8 liter Duramax that was in it, which is also a very rare option. It's very hard to find, but that's what I wanted as well. And then probably the biggest thing that was hard to find was it had to be the bison package which the bison package has so many different cool things that are available with it which we will go over later but that is the one that i wanted i didn't want just the regular zr2 i wanted the bison which is specifically built by aev american expedition vehicles which is a american owned and operated company that builds overland vehicles chevy teamed up the chevy teamed up with them and they created the bison so all of these things are what I needed. And it's a very, very rare truck to find. So I started calling around at dealerships, stuff like that. I called three different dealerships, three different Chevy dealerships. And I said, you know, can you find me this? Two were kind of like, oh, you know, we're trying to find one. They're far or they're far. I found one dealership and I'm not gonna name them because I don't wanna like, you know, throw anybody under the bus or anything like that. But I found one dealership and they said, oh yeah, we, we can find one. We found one in Arizona. We're actually friends with the guy who runs that dealership over there. He's the service manager or something like that. He actually used to work here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't talk to anybody else. Come down to us, come down, see me tomorrow and I will get you the truck and we'll have it here in a couple days. No freaking worries, outlaw. So I trusted the guy. I don't trust a lot of people, but I trusted this guy, right? I was like, all right. He's going to find it for me. He's going to get it here. That's going to be awesome because there was no... Listen, man, I could have gone with a black one. I could have gone with the the uh, the gray one that they had, and uh, which were just a couple miles from me. I could have went and got them, you know? Those are rare as well, but the white ones seemed to be the rarest. I wanted the white one. This guy was going to get it for me. So I go down there the next day. I'm all excited, getting ready to go. We make a deal. He's like, okay, we'll get it. You know, I'm already financed and stuff. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm good. And then I uh, I put some money down in the truck to basically get it here because I had to pay a, you know, a fee for them to, to tow it over here and them to go get their driver down there and get it. And then uh, he says it'll be here. This is last week. And I go down there on, I think it was Saturday. Was it Saturday? Mm -hmm. Last week? I think it was, this, it was Friday or Saturday last week. And then he said he would have it here Monday or Tuesday, right? And I put, you know, a few bucks down to, to save it and have it, you know, come my way, right? Well, a day goes by, don't hear from him. You know, I'm texting the dude, I'm calling him, no answer, texting him, no answer. He has his read receipts on so I can see that he's 
seeing my messages. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, maybe they're just waiting. They're busy, something like that, right? Then uh, Tuesday comes around. You know, I'm like, well, it could have been here Monday, but start trying to holler at people again, whatever. Nobody talks to me. And, you know, I get to check in for the truck and everything from the from my uh, financer. And I'm like, okay, you know, I've got everything taken care of. We're all good to go. And then uh, still don't hear from anybody. So then the next day, I'm like, okay, you know, nobody's talked to me, blah, blah, blah. I'm just wondering where the truck's at, all this stuff. And they just keep putting it off, like, whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. They're like, uh, we haven't heard from the people yet. I'm like, okay, well, you said it was going to be here yesterday or the day before, so I'm just kind of wondering what's going on. Long story short, I end up getting really pissed off because nobody's communicating with me. I end up calling the service manager over there. It's like, let me talk to your manager, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my truck. And the reason why they weren't talking to me is because... Apparently their friend or whoever worked at this other dealership that they promised they would get me the truck and everything like that. They sold it out from under them and they weren't going to be able to get the truck. And now they tell me, right? And so I'm like, dude, I leave for Florida tomorrow. And then I've got this elk hunt that it would be, the truck would be perfect for and specifically getting this truck for a hunting truck right when I get back from Florida. So I need this truck like now, you know, I'm like, come on people. Like what the hell is going on here? I'm, I'm giving you guys money. Like this is a done deal. Let's get the truck here. So he's like, oh, the service manager's like, oh, don't worry about it, man. You know, then they find out who I am as far as a YouTuber and stuff like that. You know, and they're just like, oh man, we're, we're working hard for you. This is like the, his tone of his voice. Yeah, man, just, I'm working hard for you. Uh, just, I'm trying to find one, you know, trying to make a deal you know with these dealers and stuff like that to me it didn't sound like he was working very hard for it right so in the back of my mind i'm like you know what i'm just gonna have to do this shit myself these guys just i don't think they're i don't think they even want to help me out in this situation right so screw that dealership i'm gonna do it myself I find one in New Mexico. I find one in New Mexico, end up calling the lady myself. I said, listen, I want that exact truck. Give her the VIN number, everything. I said, I'm in Colorado. Is there a possibility I can get it up here? Let's do the deal. Let's just get her done. Very nice lady, her name's Bree. She says, oh, where are you at in Colorado? I'm actually heading up there on, uh, on Monday for a meeting in a town that's close to mine. I said, just jokingly, I was like, oh, hey, well, if I buy this truck, you can just drive that son bitch right up here to me. She goes, okay, yeah, no problem. I was just kidding. Well, it turns out that's what's happening. So I got the deal done with the other dealership. I had to do it myself. This other dealership promised me all this crap and then I had to wait a week because they were just giving me the run around. You gotta be careful when you're going in to buy a truck because they make all these promises that sometimes they just can't deliver, literally. And then yesterday I had to go back to that dealership and get my money back because I basically gave everybody that worked there the stink eye as far as uh, not communicating with me, which is very important in any type of relationship, whether it's with a woman or if it's in a business relationship. So communication is key, just a bit of advice. And this Chevy dealership that I was working with in New Mexico, they were very, very kind and communicated perfectly. We got the deal done and now, Bree is on her way here driving my brand new truck and we are about to go pick it up right now. I think we'll take y'all with me. Let's go. Yeah, I see you. There you are. So once you take your left there, take your first right. Sweet. There she blows. My goodness gracious. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh boy. We're off to go get some gas because she had no time to get some gas beforehand or a car wash. So we're gonna go grab some real quick and then we'll be good to go and the deal will be done. For that guys we've been doing paperwork and now we're at the gas station filling her up the diesel for some reason it was so much of a pain in the ass to find diesel around here where we met her at what we got so we're about to go through the car wash right now get her all cleaned up i gotta give the biggest shout out to brie who from new mexico from albuquerque she drove this she hand delivered the truck to me over six hours away that's so cool to me man like it's just i don't know i've never had somebody deliver a truck to me like six hours away that's crazy so super cool so we're gonna wash her up and then we'll give you guys a short walk around dude <laughs> killer All right, now let's pull up to the, the big Dirty Max. Yeah, buddy. 
And now let's go home. You ready to go home? Let's yeah. go home. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. And there you freaking have it, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the new daily. This is the 2020 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison Edition. Look, God, I can't even like talk, man. I, it was it was a weird experience because usually you go to the dealership, you drive it off the lot, but I had Bree bring it to me. That was freaking cool, man. If you guys live in the New Mexico or surrounding area or just over here or just wherever, she she delivers trucks, man. So gosh dang cool. I'll put her info in the description box. She's super cool and uh, super easy to work with, man. We got this deal done quick and dude i'm like i'm still surprised she brought it to me like six hours away so that was freaking killer but yes this is it and if you could see right here it's got the little baby duramax in it that's right so i'm super happy to have this truck man like i said i wanted the white and black one it's freaking killer oh i just like i'm so happy and i can't wait to do the next video since this one's kind of long already the bison edition uh we will do a walk around and a complete tour of this guy in the next couple days on the channel so make sure to subscribe and stay tubed for that if you guys dig the new truck and you like that it's a diesel you know we got the smaller version of the truck but hey at least it's still diesel powered baby oh there's miss outlaw coming in with the other black and white we're matching whoa whoa chill lady about to freaking hit my I brand new truck don't worry, just trying to give you a little sweat. Yeah. A little too close for comfort. Oh, dude. Freaking truck's crying over here. Pink tears. It's from the car wash. I'll have to wash that crap off. Yeah, man. Feels weird to have like a brand, brand new truck. So I'm going to do a walk around and everything on it in the next couple days. Like I said, we'll give a complete walk around because a lot of you guys might be asking, what's the Bison Edition? Why did you buy this truck? Why this, that, and the other? I will give a full explanation and everything on that. The main reason, obviously, was I needed a new daily driver. We got a video coming out on that guy right there in the next couple days as well. And I think you guys are really, 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 I can't even talk, really enjoy that video as well. So we got it done, baby. I'm happy. And uh, I hope you guys dig it too. What do you think, babe? I haven't even seen it yet. Freaking it's sick, nice right? Though. It matches your Jeep perfectly. Miss Outlaw just got a brand new Jeep as well. She got the new uh, Grand Cherokee. High altitude. Ooh. High altitude, oh sorry, excuse oh, me. Oh yeah. Pretty sweet, eh? It looks just like mine on the inside. That's weird. I know, it's crazy. Oh, cool. It has the, the bison logo and stuff. Yeah, dude. Ooh. It's freaking dope as, so I can't say that anymore. This is cool, babe. So now we've got ghosts sitting over there and now we got baby ghosts. So you guys gotta let us know in the comments, what should they be the name for the new truck? Should we call it Casper? <laughs> should we call it Casper or something? And I'm thinking about maybe wrapping this like ghost, but just like a tad different. If you guys got any rap suggestions, let me know in the comments below. We got a lot of plans for this thing. I'll go over that in the next video. I just wanted to bring you guys along for the purchase. We got her done. We got her washed up. There's bees trying to flicking fly in there. Flicking, flicking. I love y'all. We'll see y'all on the dip side. Name's out. Name's out loud and I'm out, y'all. Name's out loud and I'm out, y'all. I don't even know what I'm saying. I need food. Oh, well, I almost did the live. Dude, I don't even know what channel I'm on. <laughs> uh, supposed to give me the script. Keep it freaking hell, Billy. Holler.